a few uh, several key free throws for you down the stretch. I mean, um, early on it looked like you guys might not need that, <laughs> but you know it always comes down to it a lot of times. You're confident going to line in those situations? Uh, yeah. I've been putting up the last free throws in practice, getting a lot of reps, so it pays off in the game. What did you feel was the difference there in that 17-2 run down in the first half? Defense? Yeah. Yeah, good. Defense, too. Sticks on principles. That's it. I think they only scored two baskets the last eight minutes of the, uh, the half, though. I can't say the same for the second 20. Sure. Uh, we talked on the phone earlier this week, and you mentioned how Jarrell, you know, he doesn't need to score to take over a game. Did you feel like during that run that was a pretty good example of his other attributes and how they can affect the game? Yeah, he can affect the game in many different ways. He's unselfish, he passes, he rebounds. Um, you know, he, play, he played a good first one. He turned it over too much. Six turnovers, he's got to be better than that. And he is better than that. You know, that's, you know, uh, we're, we're, you know, don't get me wrong, Madison is talented, well coached. Um, you know, Nation is a big time player, and, and, and so are Curry and Cook. So, we, you know, we have great respect for them and, and certainly know they can beat us. Uh, and, and I thought we played well for stretches, but to get where we want to get, we've got to play for a full 40 minutes. We, we, we didn't do that. Um, you know, we keep talking about you play with fire, sometimes you get burned. You've been burned in the past. This is since February. You can't do that anymore. I feel like when that, during that run, you exploited their zone. <clears throat> well, we've got good shooters, and, and I think, and, and Ralph's a great example. He, he's, you know, he's living at the foul line, you know, and, and whether it's man zone, we've got to drive the ball and, and get to the rim, and then we need to get our threes off inside out, which I thought we, for the most part, we did a pretty good job of that. You know, we, we talked last night at our walkthrough, we're the top 30 in the country in field goal defense, rebound margin, block shots, and free throw attempts. That's pretty good. That also means that's our identity, so we've got to play to those, we've got to play to those strengths. I think the guys that recognize this, this guy's done an unbelievable job since the Coppin State game of continuing to attack the rim, guard, play on selfish basketball. It's, and, and, you know, people forget he, he's a starter that's extremely unselfish and accepted coming off the bench for us. It's helped us be successful. Coach, early fouls in the second half, do you think that adjusted the defense mindset at all? Yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a little tentative. Mike and Marcus getting a couple of those, but we've got to, you know, probably, they got good players. They, they attack the rim. I'm sure they, they got on them at halftime. We've, we've, we've still got to guard the ball better. Overall, in the paint, did you feel like you guys could have done better solidifying defensively? I thought TJ was very good tonight. I thought TJ was very good tonight. Um, he's, he's another, you know, another guy that he's got the best motor for us, and he does what he makes winning plays all the time. So I thought I thought TJ set the tone right off the gate. He was really good. How's Davis doing? Davis is doing good, and we've got to get him in the mix. That's on me. It's just we got to. Uh, what if Ralph? What if they ask Ralph something? What's he going to do? I mean, uh, but it, it's hard. I thought Marshall gave us a really good lift tonight. You know, and then we, we, we put Barrington in there, so we're, we're playing guys. And I, I think what's what's we've got good freshmen, better than people realize. But when you're on a good team, and we've got a good team, and you've got a lot of good seniors, you, you've got to be somewhat patient. And, and the good thing is Davis is wired the right way. He's a winning type of guy. These guys will tell you that. So he, he's going to help us win a big game at some point uh, down the stretch. He's physically ready to go. He is physically ready to go. He's just about. Can you talk about Marquise? You know, he's been getting more minutes as the season's gone on, and he kind of took advantage of that tonight. I think he had a terrific practice um, on yesterday. Uh, we got after some guys during film, and I thought he really responded. Um, and no surprise, I mean, there people that thought he made a big three. I thought he guarded pretty good. He's he's getting better. I think that's also a product of, you know, much like Davis gets better because he plays against Jarrell, Marquise gets better because he's going to play against Ralph and Marcus every day, and they don't take it easy on him. Ralph, speaking of that, when Marquise hit his three, you were on the score table getting ready to come in, and I noticed you, and I'm not sure if it was TJ with you. You both really got your feet and jumped up behind that. I mean, is that something you know just shows the team attitude you guys have? Yeah, he's uh, he's been patient, patient uh, way behind that. So it's good to see him do good because he did kind of like down. So he's like three boosting confidence. That's good for the team because he helped us down the stretch. Actually, Ralph pulled himself back. He was going to go back in. He was like, he made a shot, coach. Let's let's let him ride out the rest of the half. Which obviously, as a coach, you, you like you like seeing that camaraderie. I want them to be upset at me. They know. Uh, they, as long as they're not upset at each other, we're usually in a pretty good place. Did you uh, did you expect Nation to defend you? you know, slept through the yeah. Um, during the week, Coach said that um, he thought that he would be defending me, and um, that he did most of the game. Did that affect you early on? Uh, not really. I think we got a, a lot of good post ups, a lot of kickouts. Uh, I think it helped us a lot to get our uh, shooters open. 
know, the FCC has done it, and you feel like you guys really, really have been able to exploit the zone with their plan. You guys give them your flavor back to other teams. Yeah, um, I, I didn't see that much. I mean, they play a little bit of zone, and I think they play more man. I think we hit more shots, so they came out of their zone earlier than I think they wanted to. When you got a young team coming in here, I mean, how important is it for you guys to really jump on them and kind of take away the hope for the second half? Um, it's good. I think uh, they got. I mean, they got a young team, but they got some uh, people that played really good minutes last year for them. So um, I think they're going to be a good team in the future. You're six and two right now. How do you feel going into your last home game for a while? Uh, well, you know, I think at, at this point we obviously love being here at home, but we're, we're battle tested. We'll be ready to play on the road as well. Look, every every night's going to be a war. We're, we're in the race. Uh, Delaware is in, in first uh, right now. We're hoping for a long, long physical game between them and Charleston tomorrow night. And when Charleston comes here Saturday, we'll be ready for us. They're they're terrific. And we're six and two, and you know I, I think uh, we've, we've played some good teams, and you know we're, we're, we're going to be right where we need to be. Coach, obviously Darrell came up big on that seventeen two run in the half. So obviously we pay attention to his stats, but how much better does he make his teammates? Uh, tremendously better, especially when, when he's. He's engaged and energized like this. Uh, you know, it, it really, it, it, it sets the tone. And um, I, we had that great run. I said, they only scored two baskets. And, and you know, uh, the good thing is we took the coaching on it. We got stops and we got out in transition. When we do that, we're pretty good. Coach, not taking the game away from JMU, but coming off a really physical game with Jihad and Drexel, and having a young team like that following up, that sort of give you a bit more confidence going down the stretch, knowing that you have Jose Jackson in Delaware. Yeah, I mean, you know what? You, you can't really, I mean, we, we play Delaware whenever we play them, so we can't. We, we got to worry now about Charleston. That's the only way to give yourself a chance to win night in, night out. If, if we don't worry and, and respect Charleston, we'll get beat Saturday. These guys know that. I mean, that's the only thing we can worry about. That's all we'll talk about in the next couple of weeks. The last couple of games, you've come out and avoided digging yourself in that hole, like you said. Was there has just been a renewed practice uh, effort? or? Uh... Thanks a credit to the older guys yeah. set the tone. They're out there really warm up, so, you know, uh, Done a couple other guys that didn't play great, that weren't out early today. I mean, we got to pay attention to all, all that stuff. Uh, even though I'm not out there, we got spies everywhere, Robert. And uh, <laughs> but these guys were out early, and you know, you, you know, input usually equals output. So they, they were engaged. And we've talked about so when this group is engaged and focused, they're they're, they're, they're pretty good. Time for one more. Jarrell, we didn't get to ask you on Saturday, but given that you've seen pretty much most of the conference right now, how confident do you feel going into this last stretch, the last couple of weeks before? Um, made me feel pretty, uh, pretty confident. I think we're playing um, better than we were when we first started conference. I think we're getting better defensively, and uh, I think we're hitting more shots than we were, and we're also um, shooting a lot of foul shots, which is good for our team. So I think we're going to be good this last, this last stretch of um, conference.